Aetna is pulling back. The nation's third largest health insurer is dramatically cutting its participation in health care exchanges, leaving consumers in those markets with fewer options. And the company isn't pulling back gradually, but instead, Aetna is doing it all at once. The reason? It's running up big losses in markets where patients are sicker than the company thought they would be. The decision is another blow to President Obama's signature health reform law, and it follows similar moves by two other major insurers. And as Bertha Coombs reports, the move raises a lot of questions about the future of the landmark program. Edna says it's cutting its ACA exchange plan offerings by 70 percent nationally next year because after losing $230 million in the second quarter, that kind of loss is just unsustainable. It's a major about face for Edna CEO Mark Bertolini, who just six months ago said that he planned to expand on the exchanges. Critics say the timing is curious, coming just after the Department of Justice moved to block Aetna's acquisition of Humana. Maybe then they were trying to butter up the Department of Justice to approve their merger with Humana. Now, to when the government has opposed the merger, they are saying, well, you know, we've got such losses. It's not such, good, such a good investment. It's very hard to know what the truth is. Edna says the two issues are separate, but the bottom line for hundreds of thousands of ACA exchange plan members is that they're likely to see less choice, likely higher prices next year as three of the nation's largest insurers are pulling back on the exchanges. Aetna will be in just four states, Delaware, Iowa, Nebraska, and Virginia, down from 15 this year. Humana will be in 11, down from 15. And United Health in just three states, that's down from 34 this year. These large losses aren't isolated to one insurance company. They are systematic, they're occurring across the country, and we could have upwards of 1,000 counties next year where there's only one health insurance company offering coverage. In one Arizona county, Aetna, United, and the local Blue Cross plans exit from the exchange there means residents won't have any carrier to choose from next year. Officials say they're trying to find a fix, but it's unclear how they can do it. We don't exactly know what happens in that instance, given that there is no fallback in the ACA for this occurrence. And this was the problem that the multi-state plans were intended to solve. And Edna's departure now means uncertainty for the insurers that are staying on the exchanges next year. I think we may see some carriers that need to raise rates to accommodate the fact that there's going to be less competition and potentially that they may be inheriting some higher risk enrollees from some of the issuers that are actually exiting the market. Analysts say without a fix in Washington to make the exchanges stable and sustainable, it's unclear longer term just how long insurers will hang in and continue to sell ACA plans. Bertha Coombs, Nightly Business Report, New York.